This screencast will show you how to migrate a real PC uh, to your bootcamp partition using WinClone 4. Uh, before you do anything with WinClone 4, yes, you have to prepare your Windows installation using a utility called SysPrep. SysPrep allows Windows to generalize and rediscover all the drivers. So we'll go to a real PC and in Explorer, we will open up the C drive, open up the Windows folder, select System32, and in there, there'll be a folder called SysPrep. Open that up and actually run SysPrep. The only options you need to select uh, is Generalize and Shutdown. The out of box experience will automatically be selected for you and click OK. Windows will go ahead, generalize the system, and then shut down. We can now remove that hard drive from that real PC, install it into a USB enclosure, and then connect it up to your Mac to start the imaging process. When you connect it up, you'll see it appears in the source. But the first thing we need to do is actually shrink the uh, file system on the source if the source is larger than the destination. And it's very simple to do that in WinClone 4. You just uh, control click on it and select shrink. Uh, authenticate and then verify that this is what you want to do. Sh shrink the file system and then when it's done uh, we will now be able to migrate from the real PC to the bootcamp partition just by selecting the real PC, selecting the bootcamp partition, then clicking restore. It'll take a little bit of time for all the data applications and Windows uh, installation to be transferred. So once that operation is completed we can now uh, boot into Windows and Windows will start up the discovery process of all the drivers and all your data will be intact. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll restart and you'll see that Windows discovers all the new devices on your bootcamp partition and then it will start uh, going through the process for having you set up it like as a new PC but all your data will remain in intact and we'll be creating a uh, a test user account that we can just delete afterwards once we um, log in. So you can see that all the device discovery is done. We'll accept the license and we'll go ahead and give the PC a name. In this example, we'll just, we'll just call it my PC and we'll use the express settings for um, all the other settings for an account. We'll create a local account. This one was we'll called test user. Uh, don't use the same account as the one you had on your PC. Um, this one will just be once a new administrator account that we can remove after we assure everything's working. So you put in that those settings. Windows go ahead goes ahead and finishes doing this initial setup on your new hardware, and then it will log you in automatically as that test user. So now to get access to all your data and settings, we just log out and then log in as this user that was created when you were on your real PC. In this example, it was called T. And you can see here that we now have access to original settings applications in the Windows install that was running in a real PC that is now running on your bootcamp partition. So very simple to use WinClone 4 to transfer uh, your real PC to your uh, Mac bootcamp partition. For more information on migrating your real PC, as well as lots of other stuff, including white papers and other videos, go to twocanoes.com and check out the resources there. Thanks for watching.